Okay, guys, so uh, I guess this will be a vlog about jungle timers and what is my opinion on them. Um, as we know, Riot wants to implement them so that it, uh, everyone can see the timers. Uh, my opinion on it is well, honestly, I kind of care and I don't. Um, some aspects of jungle timers not being there is that uh, the difference between a good jungler and a bad jungler or something like that is people will keep track of their buff timers like so. I know odd one, um, me personally I don't really keep jung to jungle timers that much but people like odd one who keep timers that are blues, reds, um, they'll be impacted and honestly their skill level is going to go down because people like me who don't keep track of blues and reds but obviously the dragons and barons that report to things obviously kind of go down in skill level and well for me I increase because I don't keep track but now they'll always be there now how this will impact play is people will kind of contest dragons and blues and all these more because they know when it's going to be up so um, I know if you are a person who likes to keep track of dragon and organize your team to go to dragon on the dot when it spawns, that obviously you're gonna have the advantage. But now, uh, when the jungle timer is coming back in, people are going to contest Dragon more because they know when it's gonna be up. Everyone knows it's gonna be up, and everyone who's you know, has some game sense on how precious Dragon is is going to value that more. And there's gonna be a lot of contesting onto Dragon. Uh, what else do I have to say? Well, the difference is, or I know Smite. Smite has a timer timer system on all these buffs. I played, I'm, I've played. i been playing Smite for a bit and I noticed that too. So honestly in that game I didn't feel it was that different. I didn't really care. I was like, oh cool, they have jungle timers. That's kind of cool. Um, but honestly, uh, in Kepita play, people who are... Hmm, I know some people, I know there are teams in LCS who don't keep jungle timers on some blue buffs and like, they obviously do Dragon and Baron like me, but blue buffs and reds yeah, I don't. Uh, they will obviously get better on that, but Riot is kind of making the game lazier. Um, what else is there? And honestly, I uh, honestly, if I were com going to competitive or something like you know really high skill level, th it kind of sucks because that it kind of makes you stand out from all the other junglers. And every every jungler who's worked hard on working on their jungle timers. All that skill just goes, and like it was all for nothing because now uh, there's no point on them learning their timers. There's no point of keeping track of those timers, and now they that that wasted time is all for nothing because they're adding in jungle timers, and like for me, I could care less because I don't care about going to the competitive and uh, like for me, improving on jungle timers is one thing, but now. Since Riot is adding it in, uh, I was going to look into just keeping track, but now I see no need to. And yeah, my venue opinion, I don't really care. I can see why people are mad, some people aren't. And for the newbies, honestly, for the new players, it kind of helps them, so that's kind of good. Um, again, my final opinion, I don't care that much. If I were going to competitive or something, I would care, I think. If I want to get better at the game, I would care. Because now I don't have to. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. It's sort of a vlog. and Well, actually not really. It didn't really explain my life. But my opinion on Jungle Timers, you guys got it. So I'll see you guys next time.